Make.com is a fantastic tool for integrating and sending data between different web applications. And in this Bubble tutorial video, I'm going to show you how we can link Bubble in with Make.com. And I'm going to begin by showing you how we can send data from your Bubble app into a make scenario or a make workflow and if you're learning bubble and you want to see more videos like this then click the link down in the description because on our website we've got hundreds and hundreds of bubble tutorial videos just like this one uh, so we're going to send data from our bubble app uh, through to make uh, so if i go into my make account and i create a new scenario now, the technology that we're going to use and the term that's going to come up a lot is webhooks. It's basically the ability of, of saying, here's a notification with, with data attached to it going from one service or third party app to another. Uh, so if we click here and then go for uh, webhooks, and I'm going to say custom webhook, and I'm going to add a new one. I'll call this one bubble app test. Okay. Make gives me a unique address. And this is an address that is expecting to receive data. So I'm going to copy the address and go into my bubble app and go down to the API connector and add a new API. And I'll say make.com. Uh, and then I'll I'm going to say uh, send data. Now, of course, this is going to be very particular to what you're actually wanting to do. And let's not uh, forget that Bubble is so capable of integrating directly in with other apps. But sometimes it is appropriate to have a service like make.com or Zapier, Zapier uh, sit in the middle because it can just make the connection maybe a little bit quicker to set up or a little bit less technical, especially uh, if you're having to kind of look up a record and make changes to a record. It can help to use a third party service. Um, but for now, just going to cover the basics. We're going to send a post uh, request uh, to um, to make.com. I'm setting it as an action so that it appears as a like a node within a workflow in Bubble. And I can then insert data into that. And uh, let's just add in some parameters. And this is where we can insert dynamic data. So again, it's going to be specific to what you're trying to do. Um, but let's say we're doing something with like CRM. So we could have name, we could have email, and we could have uh, country. Okay, now these aren't going to be private because this is all data that the user who triggers this action is going to have available to them anyway. And also it can't be private if I intend to fill this field in a workflow. Uh, so we can say name, Matt, email, Matt at example.com and country UK. I'm going to go back into make and just check that it is uh, Ooh, is it waiting? It was sort of processing. I might need to just go back and retry that, but uh, copy that address. Uh, we'll send some data through and see what happens. So from Bubble's perspective, we need to initialize the call. And this is to check that there aren't going to be any errors and that basically I filled in the data here uh, successfully. So let's uh, initialize call. Uh, no scenario listening on this webhook. Let's go back into here. I think I've waited. Oh, there we go. Right now it's listening. Now it's listening. Uh, so API returns a non-object you picked JSON. So I think if I make that empty, basically with most third-party services, the API is going to respond with something. But I think because we're initializing this through Bubble and Make.com is just looking for uh, training, uh, let's go back. I'm taking too long with this. Right to determine. Initialize. Okay, I think that's worked. So now if I was to add in uh, another module, oh, I don't know. Um, is it going to make me sign in with all of these? I just want to be able to print the data. Um, 
been a while since I've used there we go, let's just put a filter on there okay, there's going to be folks out there who are much more proficient at make than me I'm basically just wanting to see the example data that I sent through and I can't remember how to do that But let's just say we're, we're sending it on to another service. So I'm also going to go for webhooks. Um, ah. I think I just worked it out as I go. So we'll have it send a success. Now if I go back into bubble and say it's going to get JSON back. Let's try that. This lies. Oh, it needs to be listening. Okay. It needs to be listening because my webhook isn't live. Go. Okay, I'm going to test the run. So I'm going to send data. And we can see it's gone through. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. So I had to I had to run it once. And there you go. You can see. <laughs> right. Should have put a bit more prep on this one. Uh, you can see that the data has come through. And then I would be able to access that data in further actions in Make. So, you know, you can launch into any of the other integrations that are available in Make.com uh, from here. But we've managed to get data from our Bubble app uh, to... Uh, make now let me just demonstrate how we put that into a workflow um, so I'm going to create a new page call it make not pay any attention to design uh, because I'm going to add this in and then I'm going to add it to my input so I'm gonna have one two three okay so those are my three fields I've been too many there Okay, so this button is clicked. How do I send that data to make? Well, uh, if I go back here, this needs to be initialized. Otherwise, it won't show up. So I'm just going to say empty initialize. Cool. Right, now design. Edit workflow. And then I go into plugins. And these are all of the either uh, actions created by plugins I've installed or by uh, integrations I've set up in the API connector. So here is make.com send data and here are my fields and so I just would link it to my different values in my different inputs okay and then that would send data into the webhook assuming that I've got other integrations set up in my make.com scenario and uh, I've published the the scenario to live so if you want to see me do anything else with make.com or bubble then please do leave a comment below and remember to like and subscribe to support this channel Music